Let me ask you a question. Have you ever spent days or weeks practicing a song, but no matter what you do, you just can't seem to get your fingers to play all the right notes at the right time? You try and try again, but your fingers always seem to make mistakes and you just can't seem to get them to play everything. Well, if this has ever been you, you're in luck because today I'm gonna share with you five tips you can use today to finally master that song and improve the accuracy of your guitar playing. So stay tuned because you'll be a better guitarist after the end of this video. You can also follow along with this video even better on my website where I've got more info to help you out. You can find that link in the description too. I try to make these videos as useful as possible so make sure to check out the description below where I've got times of everything covered in this video so you can skip ahead to only what's useful for you. Now today's video comes as a question from Michael from my Intermediate Fingerstyle Guitar Course. I've changed the wording a little bit, but this is basically the question Michael asked. I've been playing for about 40 years, but not consistently during that time. Although recently I play every day. I began with classical guitar and got fed up with the boring exercise in first position, second position, etc. So I swapped it to an acoustic steel guitar and began learning basic blues playing. Since then, I play all sorts of genres and I arrange for solo playing modern Christian songs. My problem is that I don't seem to improve in accuracy studying a piece, but never getting it perfect. So basically the difficult part here is playing a song, but just really never being able to get all the notes right. You know, it's, it's easy enough for most people to get to the song to pretty good or pretty decent, but to avoid the little random fumbles and stumbles here and there is honestly really tough. So here's a short little riff I wrote specifically for this video. I just wanted to walk you through it in advance so that you know what we're looking at throughout the course of this video. And I wrote this riff specifically for this video so I'm actually going to be learning it as we go along. So to start off, we've got a slower section right here that's the first four bars of the song. Then after that, I've got a really fast section that's going to be a lot tougher to learn. And then a third part at the end, this is just going to be a little percussion part, so I'm going to be doing some percussive guitar there. And I just wanted to have three distinct sections so we've got an easy way to walk through it. Just to give you an idea, this is what this riff is going to sound like at full speed, and note that I can't play it yet, but I'll work my way up through the course of this video. So that's the riff there, that's what I'm going to be learning throughout the course of this video, and I promise you it sounds at least a little bit better when actually played on a guitar. Playing totally accurately is probably the biggest thing I personally struggle with. Now that being said, here are five different techniques you can use to hopefully help improve that accuracy. So tip number one, don't worry if it's not totally perfect. I know this is a video that's supposed to cover techniques of how to improve your accuracy, but this is probably the most important thing to start with. Is to just expect that no matter what you do, you're not gonna be able to play it perfectly every time, ever. We're not machines, we're humans, and we're gonna make mistakes. No matter how much I practice a song, I still make stumbles here or there, and it's unrealistic to ever actually expect yourself to be able to play something totally perfectly every time. You'll have good times, you'll have bad times, and you can get a song very good, but to expect yourself to be totally flawless is unrealistic to ever actually achieve. When a professional guitarist records a piece of music, they don't play it perfectly through in one take. They'll record a section at a time and then go back and re-record any little snippets that they actually messed up on because even a professional studio guitarist is still gonna be make errors and it just comes with the territory of the fact that we are flawed humans and no matter what we do, we're not gonna be able to be as accurate as robot. In summary for this tip, don't expect yourself to be perfect. A few stumbles are bound to happen and everyone makes mistakes. What you should do instead when you fumble is just keep playing like nothing happened and chances are no one will even notice. Okay, now that that's out of the way, on to tip number two. Use an intelligent method to learn a song. What's the biggest thing that's gonna get you frustrated and stop learning a song? Motivation. If you can manage your own personal motivation, then it'll make learning things a lot easier, which in turn will make you wanna play guitar more, which overall results in you just becoming a better guitarist quicker. So to do that, you wanna focus on learning a song the way that's gonna keep you motivated the most. And here's the method I've found that works best for me. When you first start learning the song, I don't, I don't find it fun. I find it really painful and slow because if it's something that's challenging for you, it's really difficult. Your fingers have no idea where to go and you gotta start it painfully slowly. So 
My main method is to get through that phase as quickly as you possibly can. Now, what does that mean? What that means is you're focusing in the beginning on progress, not perfection. You wanna get the song 80% good as quickly as you possibly can. So there's a few things to do. First, keep increasing the speed. Start off slowly, but try and force yourself to get your fingers to play it faster. Muscle memory is when your muscles remember a specific motion and can repeat it without you really thinking about it automatically. Think of, you know, a song that you know really well. You're not actually consciously thinking of each note as you're playing it. Your fingers just kind of know where to go. That's the goal we want to get to. So you want to focus on getting the song up to full speed as quickly as you possibly can. And it's going to be kind of sloppy at the beginning. When I start a song, I'll try it slow a few times to get it to the point where I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. And then I'll force myself to play faster than I can. And I'll mess up, it'll sound ugly. I'd never show anyone because it's awful at this point. But the goal is to get your fingers aware of the motion they have to do at full speed as quickly as possible. For the sole reason of if you get the song to full speed sloppily pretty quickly, you're gonna stay motivated enough to make it perfect afterwards. Whereas if you start with it really slow, I find myself personally, I get bored, I get kind of frustrated that it's not going very quickly, and I eventually stop learning the song altogether. But if you can get it to full speed pretty quickly, then you know, you'll know you often be more motivated to get the, better, the other parts later. Now, second tip you can use to get a song to full speed as quickly as possible is to simplify the song. You know, go through the song a few times, try it out, but if there's parts that are challenging, like say there's a lot of notes in a riff that's too fast for you to play, take out a few of the notes for now. Now, after playing this song, there's a few things that I personally struggle with, so I'm gonna make these easier for me for now. So the first thing I noted was I've got a tough time going from the speedy part here straight into the percussion immediately after. So if I just do something as simple as taking out this last note right there and switching this to a slightly longer note, then that'll give me a little more time to switch from the speedy playing part to the percussion. The second part is that going from the percussion back to the notes on the 12th fret, I find kind of tough. And so what I'm gonna do here is just switch this from the 12th fret to the open string, which is still the exact same note, that's still a D there, but it's just in a lower octave. So it'll still work fine. And that way I only have to put my finger on one fret instead of trying to reach around to get to that fourth string as well. Now the other thing that's obviously gonna give me trouble is this part right here. And I could try and simplify it, but the problem is that it's a repeating eight note pattern. You go fourth string, third string, second string, fourth string, third string, first string, fourth string, third string. So with a riff like this, your fingers kinda have to get used to that specific motion. So simplifying this here wouldn't really do me a lot of good, because then I'd still end up having to learn this motion again later anyways. So I'm actually gonna leave this as it is. But with just these few subtle little changes, I can probably make this a lot easier for some of the parts that I struggle with. You wanna take it out to the point where you can learn the song pretty quickly and get it to full speed, and then later you can add back in all the complicated parts and really focus on the nitty gritty details. But step number one is to get the song up to speed quickly. If you can learn the good bulk of the song really quickly, then you'll probably stay motivated for long. So in summary for this tip, start by learning the easiest parts first to give yourself the motivation to learn the harder stuff later. Force yourself to play faster than you can do it well, so it'll be a little sloppy, but it forces you to get your speed up quickly. And finally, take out the most difficult parts to make it easier on yourself, and you can always add them back in later once you've got the song better and your motivation's higher. Tip number three, take it section by section. So now that you've been through the song and you can play it all at a decent speed, it doesn't necessarily have to be totally full speed, but you know, pretty close to it, at least 80% of full speed. And it's gonna sound pretty sloppy at this point. You're missing notes all over the place because you're not totally sure of it, but your fingers do have a pretty decent idea of what the song is at. Now you're ready to delve into the tough parts and really get those down. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna play through the whole song or whatever piece you're trying to learn. 
And you're gonna make note of in your head the parts that you're the weakest at, the parts that your fingers really stumble with. Usually when you learn a song, probably 60 to 7% of the song, you can actually learn pretty quickly because usually there's only a few really tough sections. So you don't really have to practice the easy parts nearly as much. You wanna go through your song and you wanna make a note as you're playing of it of all the things that you struggle with the most. And once you've been through the song, write them all down and then tackle them one by one. Once you've been through the song, you've actually made a list of all the parts that are the toughest for you. Then you drill down to those specific sections. What that often looks like is taking a section one bar at a time, or you know, five notes at a time. You wanna break it down to the smallest chunk that you struggle with the most. So you start with a part of the song that's the absolute hardest for you to do currently. You go down until you find the specific few notes that are giving you the most difficulty and then you work on them. And you practice those slowly, you gradually work up the speed, and eventually you'll be able to play those five or 10 notes quite well. Then you add a few more notes in. So maybe you're playing, you know, four bars now, or, you know, 20, 25 notes. And then you're gonna play this, and again, you're gonna note the sections that are the weakest and practice on those specific little sections. And in actual reality, this doesn't look very elegant. You know, you're gonna end up playing the exact same 10 note phrase like a hundred times, which is often painful, but it's sometimes, it's necessary to get the toughest parts. And you know what, you should be a little bit more motivated now because you can play most of the song already. So once you've got a section that's good and you can play it at decent speed and it's actually sounding good, then you know, you, ex you move on to the next section that you're struggling with. And that may be in a totally different part of the song, but you're gonna do the exact same process. You're gonna find, say, the few notes, the five to 10 notes that are giving you the most trouble, and you're gonna learn those ones. And then once you can play that decently well, expand it again, and keep expanding what you're playing until you've kind of encompassed more of that and have got down the entire difficult sections. And all you're gonna do is repeat this process for the entire song. You're gonna find whatever section you happen to be struggling with the most and get that better. And then once you get better, play the song again and see, oh, okay, now I've got this part of the song good. So now this part over here is the weakest part. Focus on that one and continue to do that until you've tackled all the hard parts. In summary for this part, start by playing through the song and noting your weakest parts. Next, pick the single five to 10 notes you struggle with the most and focus on getting just those better. To do that, gradually work up your speed on just those specific notes. Once you can play those notes well at decent speed, expand the difficult section until you can play that entire difficult section. And then from there, just repeat this for all the parts you struggle with in the song. Here's a summary of the most important things to take away from this video. First, don't worry if you make a few mistakes because it's bound to happen. Just continue playing the song like nothing happened and chances are no one will even notice you made a mistake. Second, start by learning most of the song as quickly as possible by playing the easiest parts first and taking out the difficult parts. Third, once you can do that, play through the song and note the parts you struggle with the most. Then work on the specific five to 10 notes that give you the most trouble and gradually work on the speed of that. Once you can do that decently, expand the difficult section until you can play it and then repeat this for every single difficult section in the song. To make sure this video doesn't become too long, I'm splitting it into two different parts. Part two, I'm gonna release soon, and I'm gonna delve even deeper into the final tips you need to master any song on guitar. So keep your eyes out, because I'm gonna release this video soon, and you're not gonna wanna miss it. Did you like this video? Well, then you better hit the subscribe button right now so you get access to all my latest content right when I upload it on your YouTube homepage. Once you've done that, click on this video, or that video, and launch your next guitar adventure.